Hey guys, welcome to this video on past perfect simple and past perfect continuous. It's going to be a quite short video as I hope it's just a big revision. Um, it's going to be pretty much similar to present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. So if you have any doubts, have a look first of all at present perfect simple and continuous and then come back to watch this video. Now, are you ready to start? Let's do it! Before we have a look at past perfect simple, let's have a look at some forms. First of all, do you remember what all the perfect tenses have in common? There is one word that they always have. What is it? Yes, you're right. It's the verb have. And now, if the tense is called past perfect, do you think we'll need a pres present form of have, future form, or maybe past form? Again, you're right you will need the past form of have, which is had. That's right, very good. In an affirmative sentence, in past perfect simple, we use a subject followed by had or contracted D and past participle. If it's a regular verb, it's going to be a verb plus ed. Remember, after have, we always have past participle or a regular verb with ed ending. In a negative sentence, again, we start with the subject, we use had, and we simply add not, followed by the verb plus ed or the past participle. In questions, we have to put had at the beginning. For example, had they climbed? And if you want to answer this question in a short way, you can say yes I had, yes they had, yes we had, or no, we hadn't, no she hadn't, no you hadn't. Be careful with the spelling of some words. When we add ed to walk, we simply say, we say walked. Dance, we don't have to add e, it already has one e, so we simply add d. In traveled, we have to double the final consonant. In tidied, y changes into i. And finally, in verbs which finish with two vowels, we simply add ed. For example, play and played. Now, the big question is, when do we use past perfect simple? We use it for an action or situation that finished before another action, situation or time in the past. Howard Carter had discovered King Tutankhamun's tomb by the end of the 1920s. Thousands of people had visited the old Acropolis Museum before it was closed. Easy? Remember, we use it always to talk about an action or situation that finished before another action, situation or time in the past. We already know that all perfect tenses have have and that all past perfect tenses start with had. Now, what happens when we have a continuous tense? Yes, I think you're right. We need the verb be and the verb plus ing, plus, as I call them, verbing. So, if we want to make an affirmative sentence in past perfect continuous tense, we use the subject followed by had 
or its short form. And then we use the past participle of be, which is been. That's right. Be was where been. So it's been with double E. And we follow it with a verb plus ing. For example, I had been climbing. If we want to make a negative sentence or a question, we follow the same procedures as with past perfect simple. So in the negative sentence, we add not to had, and in questions, had has to run to the beginning of the sentence. For example, I had not been climbing, or you hadn't been climbing, and a question, had you been climbing? Short answers are the same for past perfect simple and past perfect continuous. So you can say, yes, I had, yes, she had, yes, they had, or no, he hadn't, no, we hadn't, etc. Again, be careful with spelling of some verbs. For example, in make, when we want to add ing, we get rid of the final e. In swim, we double the final consonant. And in study, we, re we keep the final y. All right? And finally, it's time to see when we use past perfect continuous. We use the past perfect continuous for actions that started in the past and were still in progress when another action start started or when something happened. For example, archaeologists had been working in the area for months before the discovery was made. We also use it for actions that were in progress in the past and had an effect on a latter action. He was tired because he had been revising for his history exam all evening. All right, look at the structure. It's very long. So whenever you want to uh, underline, highlight that something took a long time before another action in the past, it's a good idea to use the past perfect continuous. All right? Now it's time to look at some activities from your books. So please open your course books on page 73. You will see some grammar exercises in the blue box and we are going to start with exercise A. Please read the sentence, underline the verbs, and answer the question, which action happened first? Have a few seconds, pause the video if you need it. You'll see the answer very soon. And here are the answers. I hope you underlined had already discussed and were asked to write, because there are two things to underline, not one. And which action happened first? Yeah, you're right. Discussing the seven wonders of the world was first, and then students had to write about them. Quite logical, isn't it? In exercise B, you have to do a very similar thing to exercise A. Underline the verbs in the sentence and answer the question, which action was in the progress when the second action happened? Have some time to think it over. Pause the video if you need it. You'll hear me in a few seconds. And I hope that you've underlined had been searching and found. And yes, you're right. 
The action uh, which was in progress is had been searching. Why? Because we use continuous tenses to show that something was in progress. Well done. And the last exercise from the book for today, match the rule with the sentences below. We use the past perfect to show that one action happened before another action in the past. We use the past perfect continuous to show that an action was in progress in the past before another action happened or interrupted it. A few seconds for you. Do this task. I'll show you answers in a second. And now it's time for you to look at the answers. I'm sure you can see that sentence number one matches with the past perfect simple and sentence number two um, matches the past perfect continuous. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me during our lesson. This is all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. To create this video presentation, I've used uh, materials from Close Up B1 Plus by Sengage Learning. I've used materials from the grammar reference and grammar exercises from Close Up B1 Plus, second edition.